Next chart request is our weave. So we're going to go over that now. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to cover next, and I'll cover that in future videos. So there's a bearish divergence concerning me on our weave. Again, this is going to be driven by the ETH ETF news. So here's what I'm looking at. Okay, are we currently trading at $45.16? This is going to be a no bullshit analysis, and we're going to do this together. So we've hit are we 50% of our previous all time high. You see, our 2021 November all time high was sat here at $90. So we're at 50% retracement, and it is acting as resistance. How do we know it's acting as resistance? We've tried once, we've come back, we've tried twice, and now we're hovering at this resistance band three times. So am I going to give you upper projections? I can give you the 618 projection, which is a high probability that we are going to hit the 618 extension. We're not going to hit it just yet as far as price action is telling us. So that's the next projection and that's sitting at $58. But something is concerning me in the short term. If we just look at this chart now, guys, would you say bullish or bearish? We know we're at resistance. And what do I always say? We buy support, we sell resistance. So we've hit three times at resistance. Does it mean that it's not going to crash through and test this 618 now? It doesn't mean that. It's saying that there's something on the chart that's telling us that the bulls are getting slightly weaker on this R weave chart. So this is what's concerning me. We put in a new high, higher high, come back, higher low, come back again. We've put in a new high. We've slightly put in a new high. It's not a significant high. And then price has reacted at this 50% level again. Now what's happening in the RSI? Let's pull this up. Where you've made a higher high, and a higher high on price action, you've made a higher high and a higher low on the RSI. What does that mean? What does the RSI tell us? The RSI tells us at any point who is winning between the bulls and the bears. Is something overbought? Is something oversold? And more importantly, is there any divergences? Because these are strong, strong indicators that play out a hell of a lot more times than you think. So we're making a lower high on the RSI. What do we need to happen for this to be invalidated on our weave before we can start looking at those higher projections? We need it to break, retest, and then take out this previous high here for it to be invalidated. So it's a waiting game now, guys. Follow me on Twitter, Bullseye for Crypto. I'll keep you updated on Twitter. You can ask me anything on there. You can join our Telegram group as well. That's becoming more active now. But in the short term, we need a pullback on our weave, in my opinion. It's going to be driven by the ETH ETF news. A lot of these cryptos now are going to be driven by this ETH ETF news. If we get a strong, strong approval of the ETH ETF, you'll start seeing a rally in altcoins, you'll start seeing total three just co parabolic, and you'll start seeing the Bitcoin dominance drop down, drop its trend, and give the rest of the cryptos a chance to run. So how far are we likely to pull back? We just use our tool, don't we? We just use our simple Fibonacci tool from its previous swing low here to its high. How far do we want price to pull back? In a strong bullish trend, you've got the 382. The 382, we can monitor it when price action gets there. It's at $33.48. And then you've got the 618. If we come back and drop the 618, it's at $23.77. That's showing a trend reversal in the short term. And it's showing we need to monitor those lower lows and lower highs rather than rather than the higher lows and higher highs. So it's a waiting game. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and I'll keep you posted on our weave. If you want me to cover anything in the next video, let me know because I'm covering every single one of your altcoin requests. If, if I have to do a jam pack full video where I've got 20 altcoins, I'll do that guys. So keep commenting and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>